What I'd like to do now is just take you through some of the aspects of the sample pack that we've done for Luke Masters for the 100th release. Um, and in particular, show you how to get the patches nice and quickly into Logic. Um, this computer's running Lion, and Apple have removed certain parts of the access um, to your account, which can be a bit confusing at first. Particularly to Logic, they can be a bit hidden. So I'm going to show you how to put the sample patches that we've made into the EXS nice and simply now. Um, first of all, if you go looking where you used to look within um, any part of your disk, and your account for the library, you'll notice that it's not there anymore at all. Um, the way to get around that, because all of Logic's user files and channel strip settings and things like that are held within the library within your user account, is if you go up to the top menu within Finder, click on Go, you'll notice it's not there at the moment, hit Alt, and suddenly the library appears there. Now that's if you could kind of know your way around a Mac, the library is used by the system on a system level, but also on a local level for you to add extra, extra files to, and that's what we're going to do now. So I'm going to click on this here. So my library, which is part of my account, is now coming up. At the top here, you want application support. Here's Logic, nice and simple. Open that, and there's, these are all of the customizable settings for uh, your version of Logic. This is the uh, Freemasons pack from Loot Masters, and here are the FRM sampler patches. Now you might be tempted just to drag the EXS24 into there, but what you'll find if you do that is that if you do that with other sample packs, particularly other Loot Masters sample packs, you'll end up with a sort of conflict. So grab the whole thing, you might as well. It's only just simple information. Best thing to do is copy it so you've still got a version back where it comes from. Here we go. I'm just going to close all this down and now I'll show you how it's accessible within Logic. So quickly boot Logic. And just a note here, I'm running an SSD drive within this laptop so you can see how quick it actually um, starts to load. It's highly recommended if you can afford one. Okay, so I'm just going to create a quick software instrument. Open up on an instance of the sampler. There we go, Freemason sample patches. And as you come through, these are all the ones that we've made. So we have a whole series of bass, the drum hits, drum kits, effects, um, some more effects multis there, some instrument multis, and a huge quantity of synth multis that we made um, using the analog and digital equipment in the studio. Now, do have a look through these because we really did go to town on them. There's some great ones, even odd things like the um, uh, some of the vocal patches um, and some of the Nord sounds and the, the modular stuff. They're quite heavily multi-sampled, so uh, definitely worth really checking out.